Hi folks. Hope you're okay. Uh, we're just making a, a few videos, uh, little, little Bible study videos, so it's good to be with you. My name's Jason. My website is jasonburnspreacher.com. A couple of other good websites, Legion Ministries, Desiring God Ministries, Grace to You, and Jeremiah Cry Ministries. And uh, if you'd like to turn to Psalm 147. I just pray, Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your love. And Lord, we give you the prayers and we give you the glory today. And Father, I just pray that you bless uh, these meditations for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Uh, Psalm 147. Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praise unto our God, for it is pleasant and praise is comely. The Lord did build up Jerusalem, he gathered together the outcast of Israel, he healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up the wounds. He telleth the number of the stars, he calleth them all by their names. Great is our God and of great power. His understanding is infinite. The Lord lifteth up the meek, he casteth the wicked down to the ground. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving, sing praise unto the harp, unto our God, who covereth the heaven with clouds, who prepareth rain for the earth, who maketh grass to grow upon the mountains. He giveth to the beast his food, and to the young ravens which cry. He delighteth not in the strength of the horse, he taketh not pleasure in the legs of man. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him in those that hope in his mercy. Praise the Lord, O you Jerusalem. Praise thy God, O Zion. For he hath strengthened the bars of thy gates. He hath blessed thy children with thee. He maketh peace in thy borders, and filleth with thee thy finest of wheat. He sendeth forth his commandment upon the earth. His word runneth very swiftly. He giveth snow like wool. He scattereth the hoar frost like ashes. He casteth forth his, his ice like morsels. Who can stand before his cold? He sendeth out his word, and melteth them. He causeth his wind to blow, and the water flows. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and for his judgments they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. I just want to offer a few thoughts on praise today. And... Uh, I hope this is a blessing to you. Uh, Doug Marsh says, My name is Doug Marsh. I served time in seven prisons for violence and for many years was addicted to cocaine. In 1986, something amazing happened that changed my life forever. The penny dropped, my eyes opened. Uh, call it what you may, he paid the price for my sin. And, and Doug Marsh found Christ and he found that joy in the Lord. And it's a blessing to know the Lord, but sometimes we can go through the dark valleys. Sometimes we can be discouraged. And when we are, we need to praise God. It says, uh, the psalmist, one writer says, uh, incites the people of God to praise him. That's John Calvin. And that's what the psalmist is doing here. To get around your depression, your discouragement, start to praise God. And if you turn to Psalm 33, Psalm 33, Verse 1 to 4, Rejoice in the Lord, are you righteous? Praise is comely for the upright. Praise the Lord with a harp. Sing unto him the psalmistry, an instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song. Play skillfully with a loud voice. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. Praise the Lord, and it will encourage you and lift your spirits. Psalm 34, verse 1 to 4. You could read that as well. Thomas Watson said, The old Puritan praising God is one of the highest and purest facts of religion in prayer we are like men in praise we are like angels i want to say three things praise him for his power praise him for his comfort and praise him for his provision praise him for his power it says in psalm 147 verse 4 it says he telleth the number of the stars he calleth them all by their names and then verse 5 Great is the Lord and great power. His understanding is infinite. You know, the Lord has great power. He knows all the stars. If he knows all the stars, he knows your problem. He knows what you're going through. He'll be with you. Psalm 147, verse 8 and 9. 
who covereth the heavens with clouds, who prepareth rain on the earth, and maketh grass to grow upon the mountains. He gives to the beast his food, and to the young ravens which cry. He gives to the animals around us, and he makes nature work. And if he's making nature work and feeding all the animals, how much more is he going to be on your side? We need to appreciate that God has created this world and he's upholding it and he's with us right now. So, uh, Romans 11.36, if you read that right now, Romans 11.36, praise him my friends, praise him. Number two, praise him for his comfort. Um, Martin Luther, the great reformer, uh, was very depressed and Catherine, his wife, dressed in black. And uh, Luther said, uh, why, why are you dressed in black? She said, someone has died. She replied, he replied, died? Said Luther, I have not heard of anyone dying. Why, who can this be? It seems, his wife replied, that God must have died. And Luther realized that his depression was saying that God had died. And he, and he, and he roused himself to praise God. You know, God is not dead. He's alive. He has all power. And he's there for you in your life. Psalm 147. 7 verse 3 he healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up the wounds he heal he will heal your broken heart verse 6 the lord lifteth up the meek he casteth the wicked down to the ground he's there for you he'll help you he'll comfort you read 1 samuel chapter 2 verse 1 to 10 read hannah's prayer there she's depressed yet god was with her and gave her a son and encouraged her dr john white who was a psychiatrist uh, in south america he was depressed and he said he, he read the book of Hosea and it revived him. Get into the word and it will revive you and encourage you. Sinclair Ferguson in this book, if you want to get hold of it, it will encourage you. Deserted by God, by the banner of truth, Sinclair Ferguson. And there he talks about how his brother uh, died and he was broken and yet God uh, comforted Sinclair Ferguson. And God is a comforting God and he will comfort you in the midst of your trouble. So praise him, praise him that he will comfort you. Uh, read 1 Chronicles chapter 16 verse 7 to 15 they lost the ark they got the ark they were able to praise God John Wesley was dying and his friends gave him lots of encouragement from the promises of God and John Wesley said this yes all these promises are true but best of all God is with us God is with you my friend praise him number three praise God for his provision praise God for his provision Psalm 147 verse 2 the Lord doth build up Jerusalem, he gathered together the outcasts of Israel. Verse 11. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him, in those that hope in his mercy. Verse 12. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem, praise God, O Zion. God loves his church, my friend. He provides for his church. Don't be worried about the church. You know, it's easy to get negative about the church. People are not living the way they should be. People are not encouraging as they should be in the church. And it can be very, very discouraging. But remember this, that God loves his church and God is going to bless his church. If you read Ezra chapter 1, verse 1 to 4, God raised up Cyrus there. There they're in captivity, the people of God. And yet God rose up a pagan king to be able to bring God's people back and to serve God. So even God can do that. You remember in Exodus chapter 15, 1 to 13, Moses is praising God, he's worshipping God. Why? Because God delivered his people from the end of Pharaoh. And God loves his church. He says, you know, I will never leave you nor forsake you. God has promised to be with his church. So don't get discouraged when you see evil all around prospering because God will bless and be with his church. So number one, application. Focus on God, not on worldly things. Not on TV, not saying it's wrong to watch TV, but not on TV, not on worldly things, but focus on God. If you read uh, Psalm uh, chapter 1, uh, Ephesians chapter 1, Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. It says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Chapter 3, verse 20. It says, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Chapter 5, verse 19. It says, 
speaking to yourself psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. My friends, praise the Lord. Be encouraged in the Lord. Don't get discouraged. Don't get down. Just focus praising Him, worshipping Him, glorifying Him, and God will make a way in your life. He will, number one, protect you, provide for you. Number two, He'll encourage the church. And number three, He's all-powerful. He knows your situation, and He will help you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day. I pray for my brothers and sisters today that you'd encourage them. And may they know your love and grace in the name of Jesus for your glory. Amen. Um, the references, the Bible references, we haven't got time because of the batteries running out. But look up the Bible references and study those references and they'll encourage you to praise God. All right. God bless you and thank you for listening. Take care.